Missouri Trinity Church has turned recycled tires and playgrounds into a way to breach the wall between church and state. The story began in 2012 when the church applied for a program that grants money to install a rubberized playground surface. The program denied the church a grant due to their religious standing. Jordan Lawrence, attorney for Trinity Lutheran, is arguing that this is the most important case about recycled tires in American history. All children deserve safety. And the children at Trinity Lutheran are going to get bruised just as easily as children at playgrounds run by secular organizations. Caleb Dalton, an attorney for Missouri, argues church's religious freedom is in no way threatened by denial of taxpayer dollars. The free exercise clause forbids only government action that prohibits the free exercise of religion. It doesn't require that the government subsidize a church. Dalton thinks this is for good reason. The wall of separation protects the church and the state. But Lawrence believes this is a slippery slope toward confining all religion. Are people of faith being treated worse because of their beliefs? Or should the wall between religion and government funding remain impenetrable? The Supreme Court will make a ruling on this case in June. Reporting from World Radio, this is Anna Parsons.